Hello YouTube, it's Lone Wolf here, and I'm bringing you a new video. This actually was uh, pretty fun the last time I did it, and I want to do it again. It's Would You Rather. You can uh, see down in the link down below uh, to our previous one, but it's been a while since I did something like this, so I would like to do it again. I Would You Rather. And this is either.io, so let's do this. Would you rather sound like Kermit or look like Miss Piggy? I will confess, when I'm on the phone, a lot of people can't tell my voice. I will thoroughly confess that I have a uh, higher voice than most guys, <clears throat> as you can already tell. And so, I don't know. I don't want to look like Miss Piggy. I don't want the nose. Uh, so I'm going to go with Kermit, but yeah, my when I am on the phone, I am often mistaken for a lady. I don't know what it is. I know I, I've, I've actually done research on it to, uh, like, how can you deepen your voice? And it's like, extend here, you know, talking like this so it extends out your vocal cords or something to get a, a deeper voice. It's also, you know, talking from the diaphragm. And all that, but I don't know. I just I've always had my my dad's the same way. Um, anyways, sound like Kermit. Let's check that one out. Eighty-seven percent rather sound like Kermit than look like Miss Piggy. That's that's reasonable. Would you rather dress like people from one hundred years ago, go, or dress like a person from the future? I will fully admit one hundred years ago. So let's see here. It's nineteen. Uh, it would be 1916 right now, going into the Rolling Twenties, uh, coming out of World War One, and you know, guys didn't dress like they dress now. The way guys dress is absolutely awful. I hate it. I mean, I have jeans on and a polo and tennis shoes on right now. I actually had somebody comment. It's like the dad default, you know. Jeans, polo, maybe a sweatshirt with running shoes on. That That's the modern dad. Most of the modern wives and moms are tennis shoes, yoga pants, and a zipper hoodie. Uh, but I think how people dressed in 100 years ago was absolutely fabulous. Top hat, cane, uh, tie, suit. I would definitely rather dress like people in the early 1900s and even the 1800s than in the future because I've seen Back to the Future Part 2. But people would rather, 71% rather dress like the people from the future. Okay. Um, would you rather get severe frostbite or get severely burned? I have been severely burned. Um, I got a second degree on my hand here when I was a kid. I probably was like nine. And my brother, um, I'm the oldest, and it was the next kid, was messing around with a microwave. And <clears throat> I had a cup of noodle in there. I went to go grab the cup of noodles, and it like literally just like melted in my hand. And I had this water just come pouring over my hand. Uh, I got a small little, little mini scar from it. But if you actually look at my hand closely, um, there's the pores from where I got burned to the rest of my hand are different. And so I have been severely burned. Um, now it says get severe frostbite or get severely burned. Are they talking like third degree, you know, 90% of my body? Or are they just talking like frostbite on my toes? Um, I think I'd rather go with frostbite because you don't absolutely have to lose your toes. But if severely burned, you definitely were going to have scars probably. So I'm going to go with frostbite. Oh, okay, I thought it was going to be really even right there. 64% rather get frostbite, 36 rather get burned. And I can't, I, if it's like burn, burn, just not like hot water burn, but, you know, burning flesh, I, I rather, I rather drowned than get, uh, than get burned to death. If you could only have one. I don't know why that kind of stuck there. If you could only have one, would you rather Facebook or Twitter? I use my Twitter a lot more than I do Facebook. And that's how I communicate with you guys at Lone Wolf Dynasty. 
Um, I only use Facebook really to uh, keep in touch with my family, and at that, it's far and few between. So I much rather have Twitter. But a lot of seventy-one percent of the world says they rather have Facebook. Would you rather poop rainbows or vomit rainbows? Oh, apparently I just did poop rainbows. But I'd rather poop rainbows. If you haven't already, Google Squatty Potty and watch that. Put, put it down in the comments if you actually watched Squatty Potty. Because I actually want to know your thoughts on Squatty Potty. Would you rather know everything or be the ruler of everything? I like knowledge. I don't like I like being in charge, but I don't think I would want to rule everything. But then again, if I rule everything, then I would be able to have wizards and intellectuals and scientists. Yes, I said wizards. Because we're going back to the dark ages here where we had wizards. Uh, so know everything or be the ruler of everything. If I'm the ruler of everything, I actually know everything because I got people that would know everything else. So I'm going to be the ruler. But I guess I'm a tyrant because I'm part of the 37% that would be the ruler of everything. Would you rather have the crush of your dreams or have infinite amounts of your favorite appetizer? I already have my crush. I'm married. I've been happily married for over six, uh, six, eight years, going on nine years date being together this April. Um, so I guess the crush of your dreams I already have, but my favorite appetizer is pretzels. Crush? Pff, whatever. I already got my wife. I'm good. Would you rather have? Would you rather have high motor functions, but have very poor senses? Have superb, superb senses, but low functioning motor skills. Motor skills, especially in my line of work, being a military police. Oh, I'm, that is a, that's the closest one we've had so far. 49% would agree with me, 51 disagree. Would you rather eat moldy toast, one slice, or eat moldy grapes, a small bunch? Who comes up with these? Added by JTP. Breakfast of Champions. Um, I'm going to go with the toast just because of the texture of the grapes as they're moldy. And it sounds like they're just going straight mold and not sun-dried raisins into sun-dried raisins. So I'm going to go moldy toast. Yeah, definitely. Would you rather only wear revealing hot pink clothes or always have to wear socks and sandals? Um, I don't care any way, either way because hot pink clothes support the tatas. Always have to wear socks and sandals. I don't care either that way. That so I actually used to do the socks and sandals before I I learned better. I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm out of water. Uh, we're gonna support the tatas. 47% agree with me. Would you rather jump off a two-story roof or take a sandwich tackle from three rugby players? Um, this one sounds actually a lot less painful because this one I, I probably would break break both my uh, break break at least my ankle at if if not both of my shins or my kneecap so I'm gonna I'm just gonna go for the sandwich tackle yeah we chose I chose correctly or what is it from uh, Indiana Jones in the last crusade Cho I chose wisely there we go last one would you rather have to end every sentence with a racial ep 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 I can't even say that epitate whatever or have to drop two f-bombs in every sentence I'm in the military. I don't like really cuss if I'm really upset. And that's how people know. Um, and I'm not a racist. I hate everyone equally is what I say. Because we go through this whole equal employment opportunity, EO stuff at work as well. Um, but I don't say racist things. So I guess, I guess it's going to be two F-bombs. 
And the verdict is... This is calculating very slowly. Have to drop two F-bombs in every sentence. All right, well, there you have it. Hey, if you like this video at any point, make sure that you uh, slap that like button. If you have, if you really liked it, make sure you subscribe. And until the future YouTube, I will catch you later. Where's the off button on this thing?